Hello and good morning to everyone who are watching me right now. Myself Ms. Nidhi Burana and today we are going to study about Standard 9, Chapter 3 of History, India's Internal Challenges, Part 2. Yes, this is Part 2. Part 1 is already uploaded on the channel and the link for the same is given in the description box. It will be easier for you to uh, understand Part 2 if you have watched Part 1 completely. So I request all the students not to do the cheating. Pele part 1 dekho, uske baad hi aap part 2 dekhna. Moving ahead without wasting any further time. In part 1 students we have studied about how Punjab had become a major challenge in our democracy. This was the first time that India was facing so many issues internally. Now in part 2 we are going to see the challenges that are faced towards the northeast part of India. Now, northeast part consists of eight states. Kaun kaun se hai wo? Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura. So, these are the eight states basically which consist of the northeastern part. Okay. Now, as you can see on the map, international borders of India touch each of the states to varying extent. Up China Bolo, Nepal Bolo, Bhutan Bolo, ya Bangladesh, there are international uh, borders that are connected to these states and these states are different with respect to their ethnicity, their language, their cultural diversity. Okay, now these regions were considered to be as one of the uh, herb of the tribals. Okay, so ye uh, section of India is hi alag hai. Yaha ka rehena karna, yaha ka khana pina, yaha pe just hisaab se log Kapde vagare pente hai, their language, everything, their culture, in fact, Bihu, if you have seen the Bihu dance, their folk music, their folk dance, everything is very different to the other parts of India. The first Prime Minister of Independent India, that is Jawaharlal Nehru, took the lead in bringing the tribes living in these areas into the mainstream of the country. So, ye Hamesha East, Northeast part of the India has always been considered as an outside part of India. But, Akir ye hai to India hi. So, isi liye, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru had really tried hard to bring these people and connect them to the main part of India. So, in 1954, he formed NEFA. NEFA is nothing but Northeast Frontier Agency, comprising of the ter uh, territories on the Sino Indian border and the tribal areas towards the north of Assam. So, here is Nepa banaya gaya taki, you know, they can bring the tribal people together. Nehru took the position of bringing the development of hundreds of tribes in this part. How? By preserving their culture. He promised them that their culture will always be preserved and they will get the due rights in the democracy. Special provisions were also made with respect to the areas in the 6th schedule of Indian Constitution. Now, Indian Constitution ke schedule 6, mein agar aap dekhoge, to ye jo tribal people hai, inke liye alag se sections banaye gaye, taki inhe inke rights mile. So, in 1965, the responsibility of administering this area was given to the Ministry of External Affairs. Okay? So, external affairs were given the, uh, uh, you know, the responsibility to maintain this areas, to bring development in this area from economy to cultural to political Everything was now been planned for the northeastern part of India, starting from the transport facility to good electricity to flood control and bringing them into the uh, right zone and communication level also was developed, etc, etc. Many other development changes were bought, industries were developed. So, northeast India was now beginning to develop. But with that, there were a lot of issues that were faced in India as well as India. Part 1 mein padha tha about the Punjab uh, part that the demands were kept like Punjab needs uh, to be given a holy city especially Amritsa needs to be given a holy city title yeah more water needs to be given from the river to Punjab because farming was their main occupation. वैसे ही नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया में भी कुछ डिमांड्स थे उनके अपने अपने स्टेट्स को लेकर सो विल सी वन बाय वन दैट व्हाट वर द डिमांड्स दैट वर पुट फॉरवर्ड नाउ यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द ट्राइबल पीपल ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया सो डिफरेंट इन एथनिसिटी सो डिफरेंट इन देयर लैंग्वेज सो डिफरेंट इन देयर अपीयरेंस राइट मूविंग अहेड विद दिस अह एज आई सेड दैट वी विल बी लुकिंग पार्ट बाय पार्ट सो दिस इज मिजोरम the tribes in the northeast India have an ancient history. 
वेन इंडिया बिकम इंडिपेंडेंट गवर्नमेंट ने सोचा कि इन्हें एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ऑटोनॉमी दिया जाए टू द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मिजो मेजोरिटी एरियाज ऑफ द लशाई हिल्स ओके सो मिजोराम के बारे में जो लशाई हिल्स के उधर है उन्हें ऑटोनॉमी दी जाए ये गवर्नमेंट ने सोचा उन्हें अपना अलग से स्टेट फॉर्म करने के लिए मिलेगा ये गवर्नमेंट ने सोचा सो वेन द स्टेट री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कमिटी वॉज अपॉइंटेड इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द पीपल इन द एरियाज ग्रीव उन्हें लगा कि उनके स्टेट को बहुत बड़ा एरिया मिलेगा सो मिजो लीडर्स स्टार्ट डिमांडिंग एन ऑटोनॉमस मिजो प्रोविंस उनको अलग से एक मिजो प्रोविंस चाहिए था इन 1959 द टेरिटरी ऑफ मिजोराम एक्सपीरियंस सीवियर ड्रॉट ओके आई थिंक एवरी वन नोज वॉट ड्रॉट इज येस मतलब कि सूखा पड़ जाना अकाल पड़ जाना बारिश ना होना सो देर वॉज अ सीवियर ड्रॉट लाइक कंडीशन इन दी मिजोराम इन द ईयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी नाइन एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस फेमाइन मिजो लीडर लाल देंगा सर्वड द कॉमन पीपल अ लॉट he helped many people and he become very uh, popular and you know favorite of all the mizo people there so uh, in 1961 lal dinga established an organization called as mizo national front m n f remember all these short forms and their full forms abbreviations or unke full forms aapko learn karne hai because this can be asked in the exam also he asked for greater mizoram an independent nation which was carved out of tripura manipur mizo majority areas from the lashai hills so in march 1966 mizo national front announced the emergence of independent mizoram unhone kaha ki humko independent mizoram chahiye prime minister indira gandhi ne ye situation ko bahut acche se handle kiya aur ye demands aur ye rebellion ko wahi rok diya so jab situation calm down ho gayi in 1972 Mizo majority area was given the status of union territory. Yes, Mizoram was before a union territory. Was state baad me bana. So in 1985, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi had an agreement with Mizo National Front (MNF) ke saath. Rajiv Gandhi ne ek agreement sign kiya aur us agreement ke according Mizoram was given the status of full fledged state. So now it was a state rather than a union territory. And you know who become the chief minister of the state? Yes, it was none other than the Lal Denga. Yes, the all-time favorite of Mizo community, Lal Denga, become the first Chief Minister of the Independent Full-Fledged State of Mizoram. Okay, now moving ahead with it, the next state about which we are going to talk about is Naga land. So the Naga tribe in northeast India is known as a martial tribe. Yes, they are very good into their martial arts. The Naga tribe had settled in the eastern Himalayas, the Naga hills, the border areas of Assam and Myanmar. I think आप सही जानते हो कि नागालैंड कहाँ सिचुएटेड है राइट इन 1946, some educated Naga youth established an organization NNC, जिसका फुल फॉर्म है Naga National Council. और उसके बाद उन्होंने भी डिमांड की फॉर इंडिपेंडेंट स्टेट ऑफ नागालैंड एंड हु वॉज द लीडर द लीडर वॉज इन नन अदर देन अंगामी जापू फिजो okay so this was the naga community got into the martial tribe and here was their leader angami zapofezo who was born in akonoma and he was also regarded as the father of naga nation okay so nagaland people believed him a lot in 1954 the um, naga national council was announced an independent federation for nagaland they demanded it ki humko nagaland alag chahiye So in 1955, there was lot of skirmishes happening between the local Nagas and the soldiers of Assam Rifles. काफी उनके पीच में लड़ाई चकरा हुआ, military action लेना पड़ा, and after lot of discussion between the central government and the Naga National Council, central government ने declare किया and Naga land को union territory का दर्जा दिया गया. Okay, Naga land was become a full fledged state on first December nineteen sixty three. You need to remember this. This can be asked in MCQ format as well. Okay, so Naga land become a state on first December nineteen sixty three by putting together the Naga majority territory and a part of Twensang. So, ये दोनों area मिला कर Naga land बनाया गया. Okay, 
The next comes the Assam. So in 1983, there was an intense agitation, means kafi stress-like situation, tension created tha by all Assam Students Union and Assam Ganasangram Parishad over the question of dominance in Assam of Bengali migrants. So, बहुत सारे Bangladesh migrants जो थे और Bengali migrants जो थे वो Assam में आ गए थे. Okay, so 1985 में Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, Central Home Minister Shankar Rao Chauhan and Assam leader Prafulla Kumar Mohantar in one accord means an agreement sign kiya tha. And after that it was decided ki jo bhi Bangladeshi citizens se jo Assam ka environment bigaad rahe the vaha pe jagde fasad ho rahe the and so they need to be sent at their original places. In 1986, elections were for Assam Legislative Assembly and Prafulla Kumar Mohanto become uh, the new chief minister who belonged to the Assam Ganaparishad party and he was the new chief minister. And due to this democratic process, Assam mein ek bar fir there was a peace condition. Now moving to the next and the last part of the Northeast Indian frontier where it was uh, you know, Arunachal Pradesh on one hand and in 1954, NEFA was created. I hope you all remember the full form of NEFA. Yes, I want you all to type it in the comment box and let me know the NEFA ka full form which I have already told you all in the beginning. So, in 1972, it began to be called as Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, it is a region of a rising sun. Okay, so on 20th February 1987, it got the status of constituent state. So, yaha se sabse pehle sun, uh, you know, rise hota hai. So, it got the status of that and 20th February 1987 ko, it become a state. During the period from 1960 to 2000, Northeast India had progressed towards a more mature democracy. So, this was a period when you will see that in Northeast India, there were many developments. Hue the. This area is on the path of progress through industrialization, spread of education, etc. etc. Like transport, communication, employment, uh, all these started growing up in Arunachal Pradesh and also towards the um, other parts of the Nagaland. Mizoram, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and rest of the part of Northeast. Alright. So with this, I hope you understood the challenges which India had faced in the Northeast part of uh, part. And in the next part, we will study about regionalization, communalization and terrorism, Naxalize, Naxalism in the interior part of India. But the question of the day is name the states of Northeast India in the comment box below. I'll be really happy to read your answers and correct you up if you are wrong. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe, share and like if you really liked it up. Okay. Thank you so much for watching it with me and part 3 will be coming soon. Uh, most probably today itself and thank you for watching once again and staying with me till the end of it. Take lots of care. See you soon with the rest of the part. Thank you once again.